People in Northeast Kansas are showing their support for Vietnam veterans and the sacrifices they made years ago. KSNT News reporter Alec Gardner shows us why people in Wamigo are lining the streets this week. A semi carrying the Vietnam Veterans Memorial replica rolled into Wamigo to flags waving and people cheering. It's called the Wall That Heals, and for people with memories of the Vietnam War, it's doing just that. Dalmas Coates served in Vietnam in the late 60s, and for him, seeing this kind of reception is a stark change from back then. The day I left Vietnam, I left in civilian clothes because I was advised to wear civilian clothes all the way home. And that's exactly what I've done. But uh, today, it's a 100% turnaround. This is one of 38 stops across the country. After assembling the wall, the opening ceremony will be held Thursday at 10 in the morning and stay open 24 hours a day until Sunday. Until you see those names and, and you start understanding those are real people, they gave a lot, it, it, it has a much deeper impact when you're up close. I think the individual's names that's on the wall, if they could tell you, they would say, come on out and see us. 627 of the more than 58,000 names on the wall were Kansans. Now friends and family can honor them in their home state. In Wamigo, Alec Gartner, KSNT News.